it's 10.30 on uh, the 24th of May, Monday. Fantastic send-off yesterday in Austin Pools. Uh, lots of support for the congregation. A few people I'd like to thank. Uh, Sheila, Jubin, Jean, the anonymous person who gave me a lovely night in a posh hotel at the halfway point. Thank you, anonymous person. Father Ian for all his support and my mum and dad. Uh, I had to shed a bit of a load in the evening. Bags a bit heavier than I thought, so uh, that's interesting. Learning to travel extremely light. Had to give up um, Jane Austen uh, to give way to the venerable Bede. There you are. That's life. Anyway, here I am. Uh, you can see from the cairn, I hope, uh, at the site of the battlefield of Preston Pans, where Bonnie Prince Charlie had his first great victory in the rebellion of 1745. Um, Old St Paul's was tied up with the Jacobites in the 18th century and there's a lovely story that uh, the news of the victory came in uh, while a wedding was in progress and in the registers it has the name of the priest and the couple and then a note uh, in the margin of the register saying that this news had come in of the Jacobite victory and glory to God in the highest written in Greek well they had learned clergy, that's nice uh, interesting that they also put a secret message, although I think the reputation of Old St Paul's would have meant people found it out. Um, I've had a notion to come and do my first post here for a while, although it's a little bit out of my way, and I was trying to work out what that's about. And I was remembering uh, the chaplain of Jesus College when I was training for the priesthood in Cambridge, John, uh, Jonathan Collis. Um, he was encouraging me to go to Melanesia for three months, which I did. And he said the reason he wanted to go there when he was younger was that he wanted a taste of extreme Christianity extreme Christianity. And I was thinking, well, um, Old St Paul's is an edgy place because it's always ministered to people on the edge, as Christian Aid does. Uh, those old Jacobites in the 18th century, they were edgy people. Whatever you think of their politics, they were, were, they were willing to risk all for the king over the water and what they believed to be the right way for society, God's way. And in a small way, I think this walk for me is a little taste of extreme Christianity, being thrown back a bit more on my own resources uh, and uh, experiencing a bit of hardship and discomfort probably as well as a lot of fun and a lot of uh, stimulation and uh, meeting new people all that anyway that's my thought for today do something extreme for God